Imagine you're working on a complex project, and suddenly, it just stops working. You check the code, rerun the calculations, and even restart the machine, but nothing seems to fix the issue. This was exactly what happened to the team of engineers working on the Harvard Mark II computer in the 1940s. The team was trying to debug their massive machine, but no matter what they did, they couldn't seem to find the problem. That was until the night of September 9, 1947, when one of the team members, a brilliant but also notoriously absent-minded engineer named Grace Hopper, noticed something strange. As the machine whirred and clicked away, a team member spotted a small, furry creature flying around the room. At first, they thought it was just a fly, but as they looked closer, they realized it was a tiny moth. The team was amazed, and they quickly dubbed the moth the computer bug. But what's even more fascinating is how this term would go on to shape the way we think about errors and debugging and computing. And it all started with a tiny, insignificant moth that had slipped into the computer's innards. Who knew that such a small creature could have such a lasting impact on the way we build and fix our machines?